MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the New York Mets and the Cincinnati Reds. Digging in, Ahmed Rosario. He will lead this one off today. One and one, here it comes. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Count two and one. Hit down the line at first. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. Should be a picture perfect afternoon for baseball. 78 degrees at first pitch. Three and two, full count. Now the payoff pitch home. Is a swing and a miss. That's strike three. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And into bed next will be J.D. Davis. The 1-1 one -one home. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch. But if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to 3-1. and one. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. But that'll hit off the wall in left center. And he is in at second base with a one out double. Batting third, the second baseman, number six. Into the box, Jeff McNeil. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. High and deep to right. Right fielder looking up at the track. The wall. Gone! Stepping in now, Keith Alonzo. High and deep to right center. Aquino is over to his right as he puts this one away. Two down. Coming to the plate now, Michael Conforto. His prior history in this matchup, he's 0 for 8. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. Looks like this guy's afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. Gave up that home run earlier in the inning. Needs to get back to being aggressive. He's fallen behind now, 3-1. and one. It's clear he just hasn't been able to find any rhythm out there. Pretty much unable to hit any of his spots. And now he's at three and one, and he's put him into another great hitting count. Here's the catcher, Wilson Ramos. Nine at-bats for him in the series so far, and he's collected a pair of hits. Here's a swing and a long drive high in the air and deep to center field. Boy, not the way you'd like to start a game, right? First inning, you come in, you give up two home runs. We'll see if he can regroup right here. It's not easy to sometimes come back from that. In now, Joannis Cespedes. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. To me, it looks like he just doesn't trust himself out there on the mound. It's like he's fighting his body on every pitch, and as a result, we're seeing a lot of balls from him early on in this game. And a low throw to first, but Votto's able to come up with it. A fine play there to end the inning. So striding in, Nicholas Castellanos. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Ready with the 1-1 pitch. Hard on the ground towards short. Oh, look at the sliding stop. Got him. At the plate, Jesse Winker. He drove in his club's only run a night ago. Into the corner and slicing foul. One and two, here it comes. Now a swing and a chopper foul right at home plate. High in the air down the right field line. But this will wind up being a foul ball. 
Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to go a little bit further outside the zone. Three foul balls in a row. He wants to get a swing and a miss on this next pitch. Two balls and two strikes now. Back up. The, oh, no, that got him. Thankfully, he's able to recover, and he gets the second out at first. In is Joey Votto now, looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. Two out, nobody on. Grounded up the first baseline, but a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Too high, ball three. Eugenio Suarez would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Pulled toward right center field. After it is Marisnik. He's there to track it down, and that'll end the inning. Into the box now, Jake Marisnik. He'll get us started in the top of the second. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Man, this at bat has changed quickly from 0-2 now to 2-2. A good job of plate discipline by this hitter, not chasing those pitches just off the plate. Now here's the pitch. Hit hard down the right field line, but foul. The 2-2 one more time. You can bet they'd love ball four here. That gives the pitcher on deck an obvious bunt situation to move the runner into scoring position. Oh, and he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. The pitcher. Bases are empty, no, one man out. Uh, Mets pitcher behind at the plate with a ball and two strikes. Heading out towards shallow right. Mustakas ranging into the outfield. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. And that will bring in the former top prospect, Ahmed Rosario. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Looking to punch him out again. The pitch. And an off-speed pitch. Swung on and missed. And with that, the side is retired. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Eugenio Suarez. He'll start things out against Noah Syndergaard as this inning is underway. Lots of baseball left in this one as we're still early on, but you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle, and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on and set the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. Into the windup, here comes the 2-2 pitch. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first out. Striding in, Mike Moustakis. He's carrying a batting average of just over 300. So clearly he's been a productive player with the bat in his hand so far. But taken in over at first for the second out as that might have been extra bases if it were three feet higher. Stepping up to the plate, Aristides Aquino. He went hitless last night in a game where his guys could push across only one score. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. And it's two balls and two strikes now. That swing looked kind of out of control to me. It looked like he was trying to dial nine, but when you're down... And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. New inning set to get underway, and into bed next will be J.D. Davis. Here's a fastball not close as he runs it to two and one now. Hey, after the double in his first at bat, looks like he's trying to pitch around this guy a little bit. Turned on that one and crushed it, just pulled it a little foul. Here's the pitch on two and two. Swing and a miss as he starts the third the same way he ended the second with a punch out, one away. Now Number so four. here's Jeff McNeil. And remember, he hit that two run homer his first time up. 
It'll be interesting to see if they use that changeup in this at bat. That last at bat, that was a changeup he hit for a home run. I'm going to see if this time they don't go to more fastballs and curveballs. Fastball, and mm, looks like they're pinching him a bit here. It's three and one. Squared that one up just a little late. Down the first baseline, taken in by Vado, and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Pete Alonso. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this AB. Started to go. Did he hold up in time? Yes, says the first base umpire. It's ball three now. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. Leading off the inning, Freddie Galvis, and they'll need him to get something going here. The 1 1 home is laid off for ball two. Pulled toward right center field. Mariznik is after it. And the Reds have their first hit of the game. Batting it. The catcher. Sucker. Barnhart. So now to the plate, Tucker Barnhart. And that misses for ball four. And it's first and second now with nobody out. Into the box, Luis Castillo. The 1-1. Hey, lots of guys get too aggressive in a spot like this, but he's done a nice job of gaining some count leverage. Look for him to put the ball and play hard. And they indeed want the pitcher to move his runners as he puts this one down. McNeil's got it for one. Throw on to first, won't be in time, so they just get the one there. So one out here with runners at first and third. And the right-handed hitting Nicolas Castellanos will bat next. On the ground is short. This could be two. The second for one. The relay not in time as he beats the throw by a step. Digging in for his second at bat, Jesse Winker. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Pulled toward right center field. Mariznik on the move. He tracks it down, and that will end the inning. Set for the start of the inning and digging in is the outfielder Michael Conforto one of the keys to securing a win they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings swing high drive deep down the left field line this ball is slicing but that'll stay in the park as it's off the left field wall and he'll pull into second here with nobody out now back At the plate now, Wilson Ramos on the ground to the right side. And that is into right field, a base hit. And they'll put the brakes on at third. Runners at the corners with nobody out. The left fielder, number 52. Yoenis Cespedes. To the plate now, Yoenis Cespedes. Oh, Outside, a... two and one. It's fouled away. Well, it's been a rough one so far. Four runs through three innings. It's about time to get that pitch count down, or he won't be out here very long. Heading out towards shallow right. Right fielder coming on, and he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. But he's safe at first as he gets back in time. The center fielder. Here's Jake Marisnik, and he's got runners at the corners here with only one gun. The 1-1. One, one. Mm -hmm. 
pulled high in the air out to left field. Castellanos has it, and I'd be surprised if they send the runner. So two are gone in the Mets now half bat. of the fourth. The and up to bat next, Noah. the pitcher, Noah Syndergaard. Hey. The ball and two strikes. Four runs, five hits, and no errors on the Mets line score so far. And he fouls this one off. Here's another one, two. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. So up steps the former MVP, Joey Votto. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. A bouncer up the middle. He's got it. And that's the first down. Digging in, Eugenio Suarez looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Yeah, but it was a good change up, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Look for him to try and stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. Well thrown sinker that time down, but in the strike zone. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Now back. Stepping base. in, Mike Mustakis hit it hard, but Ball. lined out Ball. in his yeah. first at bat. Yeah, he hit it hard. That's all you can ask. You can't control the results sometimes, Matty. Just unlucky with the placement. Two two pitches fouled away. And now pitch on the way. Rounded back up the middle. Rosario brings it in. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. And stepping in will be the very fleet footed Ahmed Rosario. Fouled off. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Looking to send him packing again. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. Now batter. J.D. Davis, the next to bat. One for two, including a double back in the first. And he struck him out, and that's eight strikeouts thus far. Now batter. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring in Jeff McNeil. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Good job going down and hanging with it that time. The one two. Hit on the ground is short. Galvis is there. And no chance on the throw here as he reaches first easily. Now that the first baseman, Pete Alonzo. At the plate, Pete Alonzo. All even now, two and two. McNeil is off of first with two away. Now a fastball inside, and he works it back to a full count now. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Hit hard down the right field line, but that's a foul ball. Yeah. 
Once again, a 3 2. Base hit, line drive into the corner. And this will find the wall deep in the corner. They'll add on to their total as the run scores all the way from first. Wade Miley, the lefty standing six foot even, takes over the pitching duties here. Standing in now, Michael Conforto. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul, so a missed opportunity there. Here's the 2 2. Strike three called as he can't get the bat off his shoulders. Side retired. Standing in, Aristides Aquino. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs. Sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. And the sinking fastball called strike three, and that's out number one. So one away here with the bases empty. And up next, the former Philly shortstop, Freddie Galvis. Hitters count now. Here's the two and one. In the air to right center and carrying well. Way back there now. And gone. Home run. Into the box, Tucker Barnhart. Into right field, that's a base hit. Mark Payton will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. Seventh pitch of the at bat coming up. Fouled away. A payoff pitch one more time. Hit hard to the right side. But no one can get to this one as it's down for a foul ball inside the visitor's bullpen. And he lays off. Ball four. So he comes right off the bench and works the walk. Usually easier said than done. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. The 2-1. Can't come out of his game plan right here. He knows he's a known sinker baller. I know it was a four-seamer right there, but get back to that two-seam. It's what his MO is. A swing, and he pops him up. On the infield, and the infield fly rule will be in effect here. Now batting, Jesse Winker. He flew out in his last at bat. And they'll go off speed here as this pitch misses. It's two and one. His pitch count is getting up there in the inning now. He needs to get this frame over with sooner than later, so. Forcing contact and getting the defense involved is probably the best thing he can do. Fastball taken down the middle, and that's strike two. Very rarely does a pitcher like this leave one in a location like that. That's a pitch right there he'd like to have back. He'd love to swing at that one again. And he misses with it for ball four, so the bases will be loaded now with two away. Two runs, three hits, and no errors in the game for Cincinnati thus far. High in the air out to center field. Marisnik is under it. And they'll avoid the big inning as he makes the catch, so just the one run scores here in the frame. Robert Stevenson takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Number 55. Digging in and looking for more. Wilson Ramos. He'll be the first to the plate for the Mets in their half of the sixth. That nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. 
two and two to the Mets catcher. Hey, you'd like to see a little bit more discipline than that. You get a count in your favor, and he's swinging a pitch that bad. Not good. And it's fouled away. The two two one more time. Popped up. Stevenson over to his left makes the play one away. Here's the left fielder Yoenis Cespedes. He's bounced out and flown out in his first two plate appearances. We know Madden every team has that one guy and Yoenis Cespedes is that guy for the Mets completely changes that complexion of that Mets betting order. This is foul right side. 5 2 is our score here in inning number six. Another one sent foul. Hey, three foul balls in a row right here, searching for that put away stuff. And this is swung out and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the sixth inning. Now that Ready now, Jake Marisnik. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Ooh, jumped the gun a bit on that swing, and he's down one and two. Counts even a two and two to Marisnik. Won't commit on the slider. Good patience, and it's full three and two. And this is where he's especially dangerous because it got him looking, and that'll do it. The inning is over. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and standing in is the veteran third baseman, Eugenio Suarez. Strike two is that's taken on the outside part of the plate. You see there the pitch count is up to 88 and at this point in the game that's a good place to be so I think we'll see him stay out there for at least a little while longer. And that one misses so the leadoff man will head down to first on ball four to start the now bottom of the six. The second base Ready now for Cincinnati Mike Moustakis who comes in 0 for 2 thus far. The three and one pitch. Swinging a soft liner. In there, a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. The batter, number 44. In now, Aristides Aquino. And he fouls this one off. Fouled off. First and second here with nobody out. Fouled away. Now another one two got him and that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. Paul Seawall takes the mound to try to get out of this mess. There are two on with only one away. Freddie Galvis will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and one gone. And in that last at bat, it makes you think this guy might have went up there looking for the. Oh, it takes a nasty hop and he's unable to haul it in. Throw into third. And that'll play the runner from second and make it a bit more interesting at 5 3 now. The tag and they got him at third. What a throw. The catcher. Tucker. Into the box now, Tucker Barnhart. Oh, it looked like he was towing an anchor there. One and two. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. And an off-speed pitch swung on and missed. And with that, the side is retired. Pedro Stroke will come on to pitch now as he'll move into the eighth spot in the lineup on the double switch here. Kurt Casale is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher's spot, hitting ninth now on the double switch. One and two now. One ball, two strikes, count. 
Boy, good cutting action to that pitch as that's the first out of the inning. So coming to the plate, Ahmed Rosario. Three at bats for him in this one, all ending with him going down on strikes. The 1 1. Is swung on and driven out to right center field. A ball that's well hit. A ball that's carrying. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Ready for another shot now. J.D. Davis. He was sent packing on strikes in his last trip. Yeah, Matty, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot. Has to put the ball in play. And he won't go after the cut fastball two and two. Struck him out. Struck him out again, I should say. His third punch out of the game. Jerry Spamilia gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Number 27. In now for the Reds, number 12. He's newly entered into the ball game, so this will be his first trip to the plate here in inning number seven. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan, a bloop and a blast. They could certainly use that right now. Here comes the payoff pitch. And that misses ball four. It's a leadoff walk to start the home seventh. So a runner at first now with nobody out. And the right-handed hitting Nicholas Castellanos will bat next. Here's the 1-1. One -one. In for a strike, and he jumps ahead one and two now. Inside and a hair low. It's two balls and two strikes. Right guy, right spot. This is one of the better hitters in their lineup. Just the guy they want to see coming up now to get this inning going. Full count now. Three and two. On the ground to short. Could this be two? McNeil's got it for one. On to first, and that's the very last thing they needed at this point in the ball game as there are quickly two away now. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Two balls, two strikes. Hey, there's not a lot you can do with a slider breaking down and in unless you catch it way out front. I like the idea of taking it and making the pitcher bring you something a little more hittable. Lifted the other way out to left center. Cespedes will reach out with one hand to make the catch on the move, and that ends the inning. Rysel Iglesias has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Ready to begin the eighth, and that'll bring in Jeff McNeil. Here now the 2-2. This is line to left. A dive, but it's off his glove. Now back. The first baseman. He to the plate now. Keith Alonso. A ball and two strikes now. A swing and a miss on a ball way out of the zone, and there's one away. So a runner at first now with one away, and up next, the left-handed hitting Michael Conforto. Fastball, close, but he didn't get it, two and one. Three and one. Wilson Ramos will be next. The three one a swing and a miss and that'll fill the count at three and two you have to find a way to lay off that low sinker there is just no way to do any damage you're just looking at either a bruise shin or a ground out to the left side now at the plate Wilson Ramos in his last at bat he popped out in foul ground yeah Matt he's got to make an adjustment right here his swing definitely broke down dropped his back shoulder 
and thus the result was a terrible pop-up foul. Castellanos will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. Here's Joanna Cespedes. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. The 2-2. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. Dylan Batensis is in out of the bullpen now as he'll be inserted into the number six spot following the double switch. Tomas Nito will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. Now the three and two pitch is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Eugenio Suarez. No hits to this point. And it's fouled away. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. On deck, Mike Mustakis. Count is full. Here's the pitch. Got him. And he goes down on strikes for the third time. Settling in now, Mike Mustakis. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. He's set. Here's the 2 2. To first. Scooped up. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Matt Bowman enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Digging in to try it again, Jake Marisnik. He was punched out looking at strike three last time through. Now the one and one pitch. Count is two and one. At the letters, but called high, it's a ball. It's been a great job so far by the eight-hole hitter. If he finds a way to get on base, this could spell for a huge inning. And this pitch misses here. It's ball four, and they've got a leadoff base runner aboard to start the ninth. Digging in, Tomas Nido, and he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Count still full, three and two. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Winker will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. So a runner at first now with one away. And up next will be the shortstop, Ahmed Rosario. And he fouls this one off. He's set, and the payoff pitch. And he'll strike out here yet again, as it's been a ball game to forget thus far. Four strikeouts. Throw over to first. And he'll dive back in safely. Now the 2 1 pitch. Strike taken. The throw is not going to get him as he swipes second. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. Another 2 2 offering, and it's up to a 3 2 full count now. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this AB hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. The 3 2 one more time. Line hard. Foul. Grounded to third, reined in. Throw on to Votto will take care of him at first, and the side is retired.
Seth Lugo takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. Number 67. Seth. All set for the bottom of the ninth. And next, it'll be the outfielder, Aristides Aquino. Listen, it's not easy coming back off of closers, but this guy hasn't been super dependable so far this season. And he's blown several saves up to this point. And that is the start they were looking for down by two as Ed misses for ball four. Nobody out but on first. Two and one. Two and two. <laughs> Looks to me like he's just trying to do too much up there at the plate. That's an easy trap to fall into when you're the tying run, but you can't be chasing pitches out of the zone. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Philip Irvin will be called upon here to hit with the game on the line. Runners on first with one down. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Now a ball hit pretty well to left, but this is going to wind up in the seats foul. Ready with the two and two. Hit in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. And again, he's unable to keep it fair, but he's putting together quite a battle at the plate. Not surprised he's laid on a heater right there. Just saw an off-speed pitch. Wanted to stay back a little bit too long. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time. Out number two. Now batting. Pitcher. Kirk. High in the air into shallow left center. Cespedes is there. Makes the catch, and that's the ball game. Well, these guys feel pretty good about themselves, and they should. Anytime you can come into somebody else's ballpark and sweep a three-game tilt, you're doing something right. Great team effort. Five to three, the final score in this afternoon's game. The Mets put up a four spot in the opening frame on the way to victory. Noah Syndergaard earned his ninth win of the year. Seth Lugo closes the door for the save, his 27th of the campaign. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. The final line score for this afternoon's ball game for the victorious New York Mets. Five runs, eight hits, no errors. They left six men on base. For the Reds, three runs, five hits, no errors. They left six men on base. Time of the ball game, two hours and 57 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.